What the frig is up you guys and welcome back to another video now I'm sorry if I'm looking slightly homeless slightly like I've been dragged in by the cat or something like that But it is currently the 22nd of December which means that I've been in that bed for the last five days I've literally got a fucked up throat infection and it's only now it's kind of getting better and it seems to happen every Christmas that it kind of gets to the 16th then I get hit by the seas then it just keeps on going until the 23rd and then I'm completely clean so fingers crossed but basically basically the last fucking last fucking six days I've just been taking fuck loads of drugs I've got strep seals I've got ibuprofen I've got paracetamol mouthwash from a vaccine. I've got everything. Lean crew, we out here. Enough about sickness and illness. Today I want to talk about how I live off YouTube or how I live on YouTube. Because basically, I don't think a lot of you, maybe that's a lie actually. I think a lot of people don't really realize how YouTubers live or how they manage to live off it, and which kind of incomes they have and stuff like that. So I'm basically gonna go through four or five items which range from, from the most obvious to the least obvious. I'm not gonna talk about any actual numbers or value because obviously it changes from guy to girl, changes from different categories and everything but without further ado let's get into the different incomes I guess Blah! <coughs> quite obviously the first one will be ad revenue now obviously YouTube has its own kind of Google ad revenue thing so the more people who watch your videos the more money you're gonna get from the ads and everything like that now for good reasons or for like obvious reasons because some of us are fucking retarded um youtube pays you the more depending on how like pg you are how child friendly you are that's not meant in like a disgusting way it's how you appeal to all audiences so because i swear a lot and i just spew bullshit out for like 10 minutes at a time the amount of money i get per thousand views is a lot lower than let's say jake paul on a video under 10 minutes i might make one dollar per thousand views where Jake Paul might make six dollars per thousand views ever since YouTube rolled out the whole 10 minute video with the mid-roll ads and everything some people on this platform have completely just fucked it in the ass it's crazy every time I see a video which is like 10 minutes and three seconds I literally just want to puke in my mouth it makes sense why you would do it but in my opinion you should only do mid-roll ads if it's like 10 and a half minute 11 minute 12 minutes plus so people doing like 10 minute videos with two seconds extra just to gain ads I don't know I think that's a bit of a, a bullshit thing to do to be honest you do probably like double or triple your total money from it so it makes sense you know can't knock the hustle I mean I'm gonna make this video 10 minutes I don't care if I'm gonna leave like two minutes empty two minutes black I'm gonna make it 10 minutes and I'm gonna add two ads in the middle straight up So coming in at the second spot, we've got merch or brand or clothing or could be makeup, whatever. This is a very, very big thing on YouTube that all these YouTubers have their own brands or their own merch. I know makeup YouTubers have their own makeup, skincare, anything like that. Now, the reason why this is so good and it's probably one of the main incomes for a lot of people is that it can be kind of hard to live on views. If let's say you get 20,000 views on a video, it might be really hard to kind of pay your rent and food and everything. However, with merch, it's kind of different. Now, for instance, if you're a guy like me and you basically you like fuck people over, you charge a massive like overprice for screen printed t-shirts, you know, restock coming 25th December. See you there. You have to think about it like this. One t-shirt, now let's say I charge 30 pounds, is the same as me getting like 30,000 views or me getting uh, 10,000 views if I have more than 10 minute videos. So in essence, when someone buys a t-shirt, it's almost like buying 30,000 views. So you can have, let's just imagine, imagine this. You can have 10,000 people watching your video. No one buys anything, you'll get $10. Or you're gonna have 10,000 people watching a video, you sell 100 t-shirts, suddenly you've made like $3,000, if that makes sense. It's a very, very weird and like financial way of looking at it and it's very, very wrong in my opinion. But merch and clothing and branding is like probably the key or kind of like the backbone of a lot of people's bank accounts on YouTube at least. So if you wanna support someone on YouTube or anything like that, then I'd say merch is probably the best way to do it. Yeah, so. 25th, 25th December, at some point, cute little restock. 
And coming up at the third spot, we've got partnerships. Now partnerships could be with anyone really. I know a lot of like photography and camera guys team up with Wix or they team up with Squarespace to make like cool websites. A lot of the streetwear YouTubers you probably watch have teamed up with Snups, including me. So Snups is a platform where you can show your whole wardrobe, you can have your own little group, and you can just kind of showcase everything you do, talk about topics, discuss it and everything. They're such a big support and they do a lot for community. And without them, it would be a lot harder in my opinion so whoops so obviously partnerships team up with youtubers to promote their app or promote their website or their services if no one actually checked out the partnerships then you'd be able to do it so if you guys want to want to want to head over to snubs and you want to join snubs then you want to follow magnus follow up just magnus magnus straight up just magnus and then you want to join the running club and that's it really let's move on to the next point Gee, I'm fucking dying here. I just couldn't go another day without filming a video. So I'm gonna have to record this half sick. <sighs> Ugh, boy. Now, moving on to the fourth point, we've got affiliate links. Now, if you don't know what affiliate links are, affiliate links work on a cookie basis. Let's say I show you guys a wide array of items and I say, you can buy this here, you can buy this here, you can buy this here. Links in the description, you can buy it here and here. Basically, if you go to those links and you buy the item, then I will get X percent of the sale. Or you might get paid on clicks only. So basically, you act like the good guy showing people the stuff to buy and if they buy something some of it then you'll get like five percent of the sale maybe three percent i don't know something like that you'll basically get a commission on a sale now affiliate links were super super popular back when the whole beauty blog thing was a thing back when the streetwear blogs or other blogs now it's still very much a thing and a lot of people make a shit ton of money on it but it's just like a small thing to add extra income on your videos if you look at a video like Okay, fine, I've got X amount of money coming from ad revenue. Cool, you can usually plan around that. Then you've got X amount of money coming in from affiliate links. Cool, X amount of money coming for t-shirt sale, cool. Instead of it just being a video on ad revenue, then you've got affiliate links as well, promoting a t-shirt, you name it. Again, it does sound very, 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 very like financial and oh, my goodness, you just want money, money. But, <coughs> <coughs> fuck me in the ass, man. But. Although YouTube is the coolest thing to do and it's really, really nice and it's super, super freeing, it's still a job and you do have to live off it. So yeah, guys, click the link in the description if you do want to get the sick hoodie. Uh, sick hoodie. I'll leave another hoodie. I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, sick, guys. Uh, click that. Give me some money. Ha. <laughs> The next spot on the list is this last one. I think there's well, two more. Next spot on the list is promotions. Now promotions are quite obvious. You basically get paid to do a video on something. You might get paid X amount of money to make a video called, this brand is the best in the world. So in a sense, you don't necessarily make money on affiliate links or an ad revenue. You just make money on the direct payment from the brand. They might give you a discount code or something like that. Now this isn't something I have done yet. I'm still yet to like find the brand I really want to work with and make that promotion. I've had a lot of brands contact me about it, but in my opinion, I don't really care if they pay me. If I don't like the item or if I don't like the stuff, then I'm not going to sit here and pretend to like it. I haven't done any of it yet. I know a lot of other people do and it works really well. I'm just not at a point yet where I do want to do that kind of stuff and do promotions. But maybe in the future, if something cool comes around, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say no or be a little but I'm still very, very aware of what I think is like ethical in a way. And maybe is ethical the right word? You know, I don't know if I wanna do promotions yet or what I wanna do, so I'm just not gonna do it for the time being. Last but not least is the last spot, which is, I'm just gonna call it like investments. Investments is a good word. I think I and a lot of other YouTubers or other social media people are well aware or should be well aware that YouTube and social media and whatnot is only a thing for so long. Like I might not be doing YouTube in two years or three years. So all the money I get, I pretty much invested into something that is gonna take me further or gonna get me money down the line or something like that. Now, I don't mind people who make money and go spend like fucking thousands of thousands of pounds on shoes or clothes, whatever. Fine, their money. But I want to have like stuff that I want to hang on to. Hang on. I want to have stuff I hang on to. I want to have investments and everything like that. So I invest all the money I make on YouTube and shit like that into either the running clothing for the cotton soap coming out or 
invested into Bitcoin. The key is not Bitcoin, but our currencies. But guys, if you do want to get some Bitcoin, I'll leave my referral link in the description below. Coinbase.com. If you guys buy for $100 Bitcoin, then I'll get $10 Bitcoin. So link in the description. Um, don't get into Bitcoin if you have like a problem with gambling because that shit is dangerous. What I'm trying to say is that I don't like the idea of just spending, spending money. I like to spend money and then watch it come back multiplied or triple or something like that over the next year or two. So yeah, investments, I think investments are really key and I'd rather have investments somewhere than just having money in a bank. So if you invest in Supreme Box logos or something like that, I don't care. But try to invest in stuff that's gonna hold its value and that's gonna be worth more in the future than it currently is. Blah, blah, blah. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. That is how I live off YouTube. Now, I do know that this video is kind of just very much focused around money or wealth or that kind of stuff. As I said earlier in the video, it kind of has to in a way because yes, YouTube is very much a hobby. It's very much just a passion of mine and I just enjoy doing it, but it's still a job. It comes to a point where I've dropped out all of the stuff in my life just to do YouTube and clothes. So I kind of have to look at it sometimes in a monetary way. That's just how it is. How it is when you just make videos for yourself, fucking being a dickhead and stuff like that. So yeah, but I do want to say something I haven't said yet is that yes, these are all different ways that I live off YouTube, but at the key of it is that I couldn't do any of this. I couldn't have this bed. I couldn't have that hoodie hanging on the wall. I couldn't have anything of this without the support and community from all of you guys. And it's the same for every YouTuber. The only reason why KSI has a Ferrari or something like that is because KSI's fans bought it for him through views, merch or whatever. And I think at the main core of this whole thing is that every viewer counts every viewer is someone every viewer is the support and it doesn't matter if you don't buy the merch don't click the links don't do this or that just viewing a video is like a lot of support for all the communities all the creators out there i'm gonna be very honest I don't give a fuck if you watch with adblock. I couldn't give a fuck. I watch videos with adblock. And yes, that might be hypocritical, but fuck it, mate. I'm not about to sit here and watch ads. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Go buy some fucking Bitcoin. Go live your life. Have a merry fucking Christmas. Restock, restock, escape. 25th of all the t-shirts. Links will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to follow Instagram and Snaps, and I'll see you guys hopefully very soon. But if not, then I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And that's it, really. Peace, Papa Bless, enjoy. Ooh, ba -ba. Mm -mm -mm.